Ebony Reigns was a rising talent in Ghana. Her entertaining voice and character had everyone excited about the future. However, her future would be cut short after an evening car crash would take her life. This is the story of Afrobeat and this is the story of Ebony Reigns before she died and I'm your host Mr Montgomery guys make sure you check out all the other ones I've done um, it's sad that Ebony has passed away guys leave some condolences in the comments below um, also check out the other videos I've done I've done some on Bisakide I've done on Shatawale, Sakodie and also check out the other videos and news stories I've done on this channel follow me on the socials but without further ado let's get straight into this Priscilla Opoku Kwateng was born on the 16th of February 1997 in Dansoman, a suburb of Africa, Ghana. She was raised in the urban areas of Accra but hails from the Brong Afro region. She came from a Christian home as she grew up with her mum and dad but her mum later moved to the UK as she was raised by her dad. She was the youngest of three siblings, Nana, her oldest brother and Hepi, her oldest sister. She attended 7th Great Princess Academy Methodist Girls High School at Manfei. Her childhood nickname was Corruption as she was always in trouble at school. As a child, she would enjoy dancing and partake in dance classes. She had attained outstanding grades, however she quit high school in pursuit of her music career. She always knew she would be a musician. She told her father what the deal was and he agreed to allow her to chase her career. Ebony was discovered by a bullet from Rough and Smooth and was later signed to Rough Town record label. After sending him a voice note, the name Ebony coming from her skin tone and Reigns coming from Reigns in every way. In early 2015, she decided to take music to another level. She released her first single, Dance Floor, in December 2015. The song became a radio hit, landing her a nomination for the unsung category at the 2016 Ghana Music Awards. The dance floor, dance floor, baby, cause the money's spend all, yeah. In March 2016, Ebony released Coupe, winning her extra awards such as Four Style, Jigway and Bass Awards. She kicked off 2017 with a bang releasing her biggest song to date, Poison, featuring Gato. Later releasing tracks like Turn On The Lights and Idiot. She was later arrested for an incident exposure for exposing her breasts while wearing a miniskirt at a passport office in Accra as she attempted to travel to Tokyo for her concert. In December 2017, she released her debut studio album entitled Bonified, with tracks like Sponsor with Chateauwale on the remix and Mami Sha and Hustle featuring Brella. I've been hustling in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. She ended 2017 with a People's Celebrity Award and a Bass Award. All would come to an end as she would die in a car crash on the 9th of February 2018, just a week before turning 21. She was driving to Accra following a trip to Sania with two friends. She was rushed to Beach and Government Hospital where she was treated but later died from her injuries. So many people paid tribute to her following the likes of Mr. Easy and Chateau Ali. Unfortunately, this is the end of the story because this is the story of Ebony Reigns and this is the story of Afrobeats. Guys, make sure you check out the other videos I've done. Um, like I said, I've done some on Sakodie, Shatawale and some of Ghana's biggest stars. Leave some condolences below. Um, it's very sad that Ebony passed away so young, but her legacy will live on forever. Guys, until next time, this is the story of Afrobeats. Peace. One day you will know. These are the words of my mother As I'm getting old Even now I remember So 